Howdy, Ekin Alo, H2O's, Roller Bros, and Azuru 15s alike. I'm your guide, Q, and welcome back to something we haven't done in a while. Just covering straight up r slash just neckbeard things and r slash neckbeard nests. This is some Nintendo lair, and even though it isn't as messy as other neckbeard nests, I find it even more disturbing because the, just the basement, the fact that there's no chair or anything, there's just like some pillows on the ground. It looks like this person is like hiding from a nuclear apocalypse. Somebody posted this to r slash just neckbeard things, and I don't see this guy as a neckbeard at all. He's more what every neckbeard aspires to be. This is legitimately impressive and frightening. I would not want to mess with this dude or get on his bad side. It's so sick. Sharing your love of tentacles is not weird. Not loving tentacles. Now that's weird. Now, this is from like an aquarium, but I feel like whoever created this knew exactly what they were doing with this poster. When you're bored in class, and you start looting your professor. One, why would you do this? Two, why would you share that you're doing this with other people? There's plenty of other ways to show off your skills in drawing anime. This is what a true gamer bedroom looks like. He's got the full setup. I don't know why he's got those like mini cans of Mountain Dew, but he's also got what looks to be a liter or a two liter of Mountain Dew. He's got a very large size variance in amounts of Mountain Dew that he drinks at a single time. Let me just say, I do love the black and white tile look. I think that looks great. I think if you just tidied things up, you could have an actual pretty slick room. So this guy said that this was a neckbeard wedding. I don't know who's getting married in this picture, but he identified himself as the shirtless guy. I, I don't really know what's going on here because some people are wearing suits. Some people are clearly in LARPing attire. There's an actual black person here. It's a very interesting group of gents. I don't know why that guy is shirtless. I don't know why he's wearing shorts. He's not wearing shoes and someone's getting married here. It looks more like somebody's getting knighted. I see a knighting happening here, but but he identified it as a wedding, so IDK. This is what happens when you call someone a neckbeard. Listen, bitch, you want to call me a neckbeard? Am I a neckbeard because I enjoy art? Because I can appreciate the value of an expertly crafted story, amazing gameplay, and a beautiful game world? Because I've experienced more than any other normal human? I have saved the princess. I have defended the earth from the reapers. I have transversed time, space, dimensions. I am the dragon boy. I am the Witcher. I am the Lone Wanderer. I have challenged the Elite Four and won. Does a neckbeard finish Dark Souls in one weekend without dying? Oh, on my first try, by the way. And that was after making a speech on transcendental consciousness to a college class. I've solved impossible math equations by accident. I read philosophy books for fun. Am I making myself clear, sweetie? Or are you a neuronormative goon who thinks football is the pinnacle of human creation? You probably couldn't even jump on a Goomba. My ancestors are smiling at me, fool. Can you say the same? No, I think he's right. That's not a neckbeard. This is just what an alpha male looks like. Wow, that Japanese chick who stabbed the guy she liked was cute. Why can't I have a Yandere GF? You know, I'd, I'd make fun of the person that would say this, but, like, I actually used to be that person. I was like, I wish somebody would be interested enough in me to want to murder me. Come on. I feel like I've seen this one before, but I just need to break down these moves. Obviously, it gets taken down easily. What is this last kick supposed to do? Like, let's say, let's look at it one more time. No, why is this an Overwatch clip now? All right, I've banished the Overwatch clip to the Shadow Realm. What is this third clip? Like, let's say that makes full contact. That is doing zero damage. There's no, this is just, why would you fight like that? Oh my god, Mamacon smells like shite. Take showers, use soap. It's 2019 and people still go unshowered to events. Because it takes time, it can be expensive, gamers are broke, people don't see the necessity in it. Are, are you, wait, you're, you're kidding, right? You can't wake up 15 minutes before whatever you're doing. You can't, uh, you're, you're at a con, I'm guessing you're staying at a hotel or driving from your house. How is it going to cost you any money? Water is basically free in most places in America, and there's definitely a necessity in it. She has cute eyes, she has thick thighs, but most importantly, if she were real, she would never date any of you guys. This one actually makes me really sad, and I am opposed to it, and I'll, I'll explain why. 
As long as a 2D waifu is not a lolly or something looking like a child, I have no problem with neckbeards being into it, and I don't think we should take their one fantasy away from them. Let's just let them have one thing. Oh my god, this is truly not safe for life as it was labeled. It kind of looks like a strangely colored carpet, but it turns out this person had multiple animals and they just didn't clean up for years and years and years and it became petrified and let's just get off of it and move on to something else. Okay, this person identified this as their room, and let's talk about the amount of egregious errors in this photo. One, there is a Minecraft pickaxe on the wall, but it is not diamond. I believe that is stone or iron at best. Come on, dude, you gotta upgrade, find some diamonds, and make a pickaxe. Secondly, Tony Hawk's shred poster in the background. I, was that like the Wii exclusive Tony Hawk game, or was that Tony Hawk ride? Either way, some of the worst Tony Hawk games on the planet. Get with the program. American Wasteland. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 through 4 is perfectly fine. Anything but Tony Hawk Shred or Ride. Okay, here's one to restore your faith in humanity. The first picture's very, very bad. Not a good living space whatsoever. You scroll down. This is a month later. He worked on his bedroom. It's still not perfect. Still probably a little bit of improvements to be made, but much, much, much better than before, and I'm very proud of you for completing this task, sir. Three years ago, 23 and Kissless Virgin. Realize that I'll only have love for 2D. Pick a waifu out. Look at myself in the mirror and think of how disgusting I look and how there's no way she'd ever love a fat POS like me. Spend a year getting fit for imaginary girl. Get to a point where I actually find myself attractive enough to be with her. Start getting real female attention. If they didn't want me then, I don't want them now. 2D is love, 2D is life. You don't need 3D women, Anons, just a waifu for life. This is strangely inspiring and kind of shows some sort of integrity, I'm not gonna lie. I am known for creating some of the most attractive sims in The Sims Free Play. This one here is the sexiest sim I've ever created. I would not mind having sex with her. She is more attractive than any white sim I have ever created. I know this seems like a troll, but this is actually a real person. His name is Justin RPG, and he's actually somebody that I wouldn't mind looking into in the future because it gets so much so much weirder than this post right here as far as he is concerned this is an excerpt of a song by the infamous justin rpg i love Now, I am hoping and praying that Justin RPG's record label doesn't copyright claim me for using that song in this video, but yeah, he's really into the Pokemon Resha Ram, and he also likes being much smaller than his love interests, and loves, I guess I could say, inserting his entire body into some of their orifices. That's kind of his style, but anyway, we can get into him on another day. Let's get to other neckbeard stuff. Not joking, deadly serious, at the airport. Just saw an Amish girl and was like, dang, she's hot. Then I realized she's not really that hot. She's just in a dress, has no tattoos, is simply kept, and that American women are so ugly, I'm starting to think Amish is hot. This just screams of like, oh, all people in 2019 are such degenerates. It's like, why can't you just say, hey, I like girls that dress traditionally and don't have tattoos and dress modestly or whatever. You don't have to be like, this is a statement about American women versus Amish women. They can be ugly and they're still hotter than you skanks. <laughs> Obviously, smash like if you love Resha Ram. You can find my merch in the description down below alongside all of my social media links, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, stuff like that, and the Amazon affiliate links for all of the equipment I use. The cool thing about those is if you click on them and then you do other shopping, I also get credit for that, so consider doing that. Regardless, skate on to the best of your abilities, guys. Make sure you're drinking more water, and I'll see you very soon. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Together.
together forever, together forever, together forever. I love pressure rims so much love. Yeah, love it doesn't matter if one.